try to stop a glow, but they cannot achieve their goal. So I can feel it in my soul. They gon' be reaping what they sow. Check it, get your life right, cause this the last call. Christ coming back and he's gonna judge us all. It can happen while you shopping, walk around the mall. Where you from? Where you at? Babylon will fall. Lose your head by the sword or obey his laws. You hear them drum beats? We in the midst of war, but it's a holy one. I speak the holy tongue. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Barakatum. I got the most high power, I ain't need a gun. I'll be out here repping till his kingdom come. His bread's for the children, you can't get a crumb. Yeah, they hear me, they ain't feeling where I'm coming from. But la di da -di, fuck everybody from the Catholic Church to Illuminati. Christ coming back, not an Anunnaki. Trying to warn the people, but they tried to knock me. What you thought that I was? Shalom Israel. Y'all about to see me out Shabbat with that. We are the ISUPK, the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. Established in 1969, 1 West, 125th Street, Harlem, New York. We are led by Commanding General Yahana. I am Priest Officer Gaman Thayal, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can call or text me at 414-514-7379. As always, Israel, remember to pay your tithes. There's a commandment given by the Most High that you can find in the book of Numbers, chapter 18, verse 21, and the book of Malachi, chapter 3, verse 10. Briefly, we're going to talk about the upcoming election. It's later on in the year, you know, some months away, but we need to jump on this issue now. Keep our people free and clear of those voting booths. That has nothing to do with us. That is their custom. That's their concern. And that, that is not our problem. One of the lesser two evils that they want to choose, which their vote doesn't matter. Our vote certainly does not matter. We will not be taking into consideration, neither will theirs. But if they want to act like dogs on choosing between this side or that side, let that be on them. That, that, that is not our concern. We already have an appointed leader that we're going to read about in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 17, verse 15. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom the Lord thy God shall choose. One from among thy brethren shalt thou set king over thee. Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brother. If you are not so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, Indian, you have no right to lead so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, Indian. You've been the, one of the biggest problems to so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, Indians. Stay out of the voting booth. That has nothing to do with you. We've been given a leader already. Who is thy brother? Who is amongst thy brethren? Yahweh Shammashayach in ancient Hebrew, Jesus Christ in modern English, is from the tribe of Judah on that 12 tribe chart. That is our people. Ain't no voting system required. Ain't no vice president either. He's already been appointed. He's got us. He's got us covered. We are tight. All we got to do is continue following these law, statutes, and commandments. And everybody says they're doing it. Everybody says they love God. They love Jesus. Let's find out a little bit about how you love God, how you love Yahweh Shai. And we're going to go to uh, the book of John, chapter 14, verse 15. And this is written in red. This is Yahweh Shai speaking. One sentence, very simple. He kept. He made it very simple for us. We were tripping ourselves up. He dumbed it down. He made it very simple for us. One sentence. If ye love me, keep my commandments. Book of John, chapter 14, verse 15. I repeat. If ye love me, keep my commandments. One of those is referred to in the book of Deuteronomy. And in again, the book of Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 17, verse 15, to skip down. Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brother. Yahweh Shai is our brother. He is bone of our bone, flesh of our flesh. And he's telling you, if ye love me, keep my commandments. In the book of John, chapter 14, verse 15. But here in America, here in America, we're going to read a little bit about America too. And the, the spirit of America. In the in uh, the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 5, verse 6. 
Therefore, we are always confident. No, and they're, they're happy with this. They're content with this. Knowing that whilst we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. They got money. They got cars. They got luxury. They got women. They got so much food. They're happy with that versus being, being in a relationship, being in a union with the Most High. They would rather be consumed by the world and focus all their time and energy into the world, into their worldly needs and lusts and wants versus following these law, statutes, and commandments. One of them being, back in Deuteronomy, thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brother. America is so content on building up them walls for Donald Trump because of his immigration reform. They're, they're happy with that. You got blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians who are content with that because they feel the same way he does because they've been brainwashed by their philosophies, by their customs and their culture. And they... They try so hard to be accepted by them and to obtain the same riches that they got. When, when, we, when the kingdom comes, we're going to have more than that. But in the meantime, book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 6, therefore we are always confident knowing, they know this already, knowing that whilst we are at home in the body, comfortable in the flesh, you've got all these worldly Desires already taken care of. Your lust is fulfilled. You got all these cars. You got all these houses. You got all these women. You're content with the world. With the earthly desires. With the earthly concerns. You ain't content with the most high. You ain't trying to follow law, statutes, and commandments. You got so much pig and shrimp in your fridge, in your freezer. You don't know what to do with it no more. But you're going to continue eating. And you're going to continue disobeying these laws. Because in the world you are taken care of, and you think, and you think you in heaven. That that that's wistful thinking, man. That is wistful thinking. You are, you're 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 in you're under you're under a spell, in that case. You are brainwashed in that case, and you are not with the Most High. We are absent from the Lord. You are absent from the Lord. If you feel that you are content, in the body. Whilst we are at home in the body, if you are content in the flesh, if you are content in the world, worldly lusts, worldly gains, expensive cars, expensive houses, this, that, and, and the third woman by your side that you're going to throw away at the end of the night. You are at home in the body and you are absent from the Lord. That's how America is being run. That's how America is is judging themselves based off that criteria. And that's why America will burn. That's why America will fall. But now we're going to jump to Romans chapter 6, verse 16. This is a question that Saul was asking to the people to help correct ourselves also. Like we need to wake up and get our minds out of the gutter. And this is how he proposed that question. Book of Romans chapter 6, verse 16. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servant to obey, his servants ye are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness? If you go into them voting booths, you are voting for one side or the other. Either way, it's a person that has no vested interest in you so-called black Hispanics and Native American Indians. But you put your pledge to them. You vote for them. That's who you're giving your, your, your servitude to. You're obeying them. You're giving your obedience unto them. But now if you follow these law, statutes, commandments. You're giving your obedience to the Most High. You're giving your obedience to Yahusha. And that makes all the difference. And and we kind of, we're gonna kind of reiterate this in the book of John, chapter four, verse twenty-two. And again, this is Yahweh talking. This is written in red. Ye worship ye know not what. Back in Romans. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey his servants, ye are to whom ye obey. 
At the time, we don't know who we are trying to obey. Just because we see it on the commercial, we see a campaign ad, we see a, a movie, we, we hear a song that, that's promoting one side or the other. And we're giving our allegiance to them. Back to John, chapter 4, verse 22. Ye worship, ye know not what. You don't know, we, we don't, a lot of, in America, especially for those uh, before they came into the truth. In America, when you celebrated Christmas... Thanksgiving, Halloween, all them holidays, you didn't know that you were essentially a pagan worshiper at that time. At those very acts, you were a pagan worshiper. But we didn't know about that. America didn't want to tell you about that. The Bible spoke of it. And we're going to keep on reading. John 4 and 22. We know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews. Following these law, statutes, commandments. Following the Most High. Following Yahweh Shah Mashiach, our appointed leader that we described back in Deuteronomy. He's been he's been given the authority to lead our people. Ain't no Donald Trump. Ain't no Hillary Clinton. Ain't no Barry Sanders. Ain't no Cruz. Ain't no Rubio. Ain't no voting system. We've been given a leader. We need to follow this leader. And if we love this leader, like we described back in John chapter 14. Verse 15, if you love me, keep my commandments. Stay out of that voting booth. Follow these law, statutes, and commandments. Focus on what's important to our people right here, right now, and not what's going to benefit them. Because you're fe we're feeding into their agenda, which has nothing to do with us. To finish this off, we're going to go to the book of Josh. Shalakim. Book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 5 through 9. Following these law, statutes, and commandments, there is a power given to you. There is a protection that you are under. You ain't going to get this from Donald Trump. I don't care how hard he says he's going to fight for America. He's going to fight ISIS. He's going to take and take and take for America's sake. All that fun stuff that sounds good. That's not going to heal our people. That has nothing to do with our people. But we're going to find out in the book of Joshua. You follow these law, statutes, and commandments, you are covered. Book of Joshua chapter 5, it's like chapter 1 verse 5. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. Ain't no military. Ain't no terrorist group. That can threaten us. That can hold a candlestick to the army of the Most High. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. He parted the Red Sea for Moses and them people. He took a whole body of water and pushed it aside so his people, so his people could walk through safely. And then when they were still being pursued, he collapsed that wall on them. On the pursuers, on them Egyptians, on them Hamites. And buried them. In that sea. That's power. That is true power. Donald Trump ain't going to do that. Hillary Clinton can't do that. American government ain't going to do that. It's not possible for them to do that. We've got power here. We've got power here. We've got a structure here that we need to maintain. And we need to, we need to focus back on. This is what's going to get us out of the troubles that we are faced with right now. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Again, we don't have to vote. We just have to abide. We've been given a leader who is going to do the utmost for us. All we got to do is follow these law, statutes, and commandments. That's it. It's very simple. Don't eat shrimp, uh, shrimp, crab, pork, and lobster. Don't celebrate pagan holidays. Very simple. Verse 6. This is, this is some of the only things he requires of us, too, aside from following the law, statutes, commandments. Be strong and of a good courage. That's what men do. That's what grown-ups do. Even women, grown women, they will be strong and of a good courage. Men, warriors, unto the most high, we will be strong and of a good courage. For unto this people shalt thou divide 
an inheritance of the land which I swear unto their fathers to give them. That covenant. We, we, we've been promised a certain reward if we walk that line. All we got to do is walk it and be diligent in this work. Verse 7. And, and again, this is a requirement though. This is what he's asking of us in order to receive that reward. Only be thou strong and very courageous as men do. Characteristics of men. Characteristics of warriors. That thou mayest observe to do according to all the law. We read back in book of John, chapter 14, verse 15. If ye love me, obey my commandments. Book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 7. Only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law. It's been reiterated time and time and time again. New Testament, Old Testament, precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little, there a little. That's why the Bible is built like this. That's why the understanding and that salvation is only for the Jews. We're the only people that will really understand this word and be able to follow it faithfully. But we need action. And part of that action is not going to those voting booths come November. Uh, read from the top again on verse 7. Only, only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not away from it to the right hand or to the left hand. Thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. Turn not from it to the right hand or the left hand. Right wing, left wing, conservative, liberal, democratic, republican. Don't choose any of their ways. Stick to these laws, statutes, and commandments. It's not going to hurt you. You ain't telling your kids to do nothing bad. You, you, you're being righteous by following these laws. Verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of my mouth. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. That's how we rule again. That's how we come back into power, following these law, statutes, and commandments. And one of those is back in Deuteronomy chapter 17, verse 15, stay out of those voting booths. We already have an appointed king. If you, if you uh, cast your ballot for Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton or Rubio or Cruz, you are choosing some uh, a stranger who is not thy brother. Try to stop a glow, but they cannot achieve their goal, so I can feel it yeah. in my soul. They gon' yeah. be reaping what yeah. they sow. Hey, who shot these smalls? If we don't get them, they gon' get us all. Oh. And I'll be damned if I just sit back while my people fall. There is no contestant when we all in this together, so let's come together now so we can end this shit forever. I don't wanna go to school, I'd rather read up on my enemies yeah. and study all the methods used to kill my people mentally. Uh -huh. Sex, uh -huh. money, and drugs is destroying our identity, okay. and this ain't nothing new. This shit been going on for centuries. Right. Instead of fighting for rights, we should have been fighting for our land Now we fighting for the man They'll go right into their plan And I'm sick of this It's ridiculous How the government is such hypocrites They make the laws Then break the laws How serious should I take the laws? My blood, homie, I'll take a loss This family first Worst come to worst And I die for mine Me and my niggas We charged up like Alkaline We strapped up like Columbine When it's war time I'm on the front line Facts life I'm acting like I was born again It's the afterlife No one knows because they tried to